what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's tutorial we'll be creating this neon effect text using gimp so the first thing we'll be doing is creating a new document in gimp by pressing ctrl n i'm going to give that a 1280 by 720 pixels i'm going to press enter zoom out a bit right there i'm going to change the foreground color to black I'm going to press Ctrl and Coma to fill that with the foreground color. And now what we're going to do is take the text tool, press on this, and I'm going to use a font called Transformers, the uh, the exact same font used in the movie. And I'm, and I'm going to type Glow with all caps, Glow, and I'm going to change the font color to white okay i'm going to scale that up pretty big and i'm going to take the align tool and align that to the center of the page okay there we have aligned that and i'm going to go to layer crop to content so it is all cropped to the text right there and i'm going to take the layers right click on that alpha to selection and I'm going to create a new layer I'm going to give that outline you can give any name you want it's up to you and I'm going to take the move tool and now what we can do is stroke that go to edit stroke selection I'm going to give that a 4 or a 5 it's up to you and I'm going to go to the glow, bring the opacity all the way down. And I'm going to go to edit, stroke selection, stroke. We forgot to change the color with white. Again, go to stroke selection, edit, stroke selection for, and there we go. We have our white outline right there and I'm going to deselect everything by Control shift and A to deselect that that's the shortcut key and now what I'm going to do is right click on outline and I'm going to apply a layer mask with black full transparency right there I'm going to click add take the brush I'm going to take the softest brush that says hardness 0 25 I'm gonna make that pretty big I'm gonna write just right there come down and there we have our highlighted text and now I'm gonna come down here apply layer apply layer mask and now we can go and start creating the colors and the highlights right there for that come down here and to make two more duplicates of that I'm gonna just deselect and now as you can see you have that and now what, what we're gonna do is come to the middle layer go to filters blur Gaussian blur and I'm gonna see how blur work there we go that's good blur right there maybe if you want to add some blur in the layer below that I'm gonna go to blur Gaussian blur and maybe play with that okay press ok and maybe I'm gonna bring the opacity down right there and I'm gonna give that another blur right there it's gonna be pretty small maybe we don't need to make a blur about with that I'm gonna undo that okay that's good and now I'm gonna create a new layer named color so that layer is for creating the color right there, neon color. And I'm going to change the foreground color to a blue. Or you can change that to a neon pink right there. 
and now I'm going to take the paintbrush tool right there fill hardness full go and give that nice colors right there and I'm going to change that by pressing X I have set that to a fluorescent green I'm going to come down these two work very good and I'm going to go to the layers right there and change the colors mode to HSL color maybe that's a bit more I'm going to undo that undo the greens and the violets And I'm gonna go to hardness just a little maybe about a 50 roughly about 50 not exactly about 50 and start giving some paint right there swap the colors by pressing X and I'm gonna come down to layer filters blur gaussian blur and give it a nice smooth blur right there that's good go to mode hsl color and there we have our neon text and it has pretty good effect now i'm going to add some pretty good effect by taking the brush giving it a lightning maybe that would work come to layer new layer about the background I'm gonna give that lightning and I'm gonna just press that right there I'm gonna give that a white come down to brush change the lightning Now take the softest brush or the mediocre and take the eraser, scale it down. I'm going to change that to full hardness and I'm going to change the size to very small. and just delete these areas maybe I'm gonna change that lightning's position right there because if I start erasing those areas it's got to take some time I don't want to waste your precious time right there now it's pretty good I think it's pretty good and now we can go and bring some colors in the background by coming to the background right there going to colors curves and just bring the node up just a little bit and now I have set green and red I'm going to bring the green just right there and change the channel to red nope we don't want red I'm gonna reset that I'm gonna come down to green reset that too come to value okay that's pretty good and there we have our neon effect I would suggest creating this with one single word like glow neon gimp anything like that and that's pretty much it if you liked it or learned something new from it leave a like and if you have any doubt leave a comment and I'll catch you there for new videos and for helping this channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any content coming every day new creative content coming every day so don't miss on that and be sure to check my facebook page and instagram all of that and if you want me to create some custom logos some custom 
artwork always feel free to contact me through my email budget digital creation at gmail.com feel free to contact there and as always stay creative and stay healthy bye